is it? 93 degrees. It's 33 degrees. Yeah. It didn't work, George. What didn't work? The reason we left Manila, the road trip we have embarked on to escape the Philippine summer in Manila. <laughs> it's in fact got it's, one degree hotter. It's got one degree hotter. <laughs> I thought this was meant to be the cold, the cold place. We should have gone to Baguio instead. We can if you want. Just take a left turn up here. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm being a tiny bit quiet because Mr. Code is currently having a little nap in the car and we are on our first little Philippines road trip in many years and we're currently driving down towards Tagaytay. It's so nice to be out of the city because we've been in BGC for quite a while now. Well actually that's not, well yeah we have actually, we've been in like BGC, Manila, Alabang, like all them kind of areas. Um, for the last couple of weeks and we haven't really left that area since Boracay so it's good to be out of the city as much as we love it we do like to keep moving around and do different things and Tagaytay is one of them places we've been to countless times and we always keep coming back um, we think there's some amazing food spots here the buco pie the cooler temperature the cool trees the volcanoes all that good stuff they're the reasons we like it here and we're staying at some cool accommodation later on so we'll show you that when we get there uh, we've got a good lunch spot hopefully we're going to tick some filipino food cravings today because we haven't had enough filipino food since being here like we've had a fair bit but nowhere near as much as we should have and could have had honestly i really was expecting it to be like 26 maybe that's like the perfect temperature but it's 33 so i'm not sure what's going on here i swear it was like nice and mild we thought we'd escaped it we thought we were doing great we got used to the temperature and then click overnight everyone's been saying it honestly it feels like there was a switch someone flicked a switch and put us actually someone commented on my instagram saying it feels like we're inside an air fryer i completely agree it feels like suddenly someone's just turned the radiators on and we are just sat in a sweat box so other than the heat very excited to be here <laughs> uh, but no i'm joking we'll be back in england at some point moaning that it's too cold so i will make the most of it are we here good news what's the good news we're at the book of pie place are we getting a book of pie yeah, i feel like you normally get book of pies at the end of a trip we're here for a few days are we just gonna get one i'm just gonna get one we're just getting a, we're getting a book of pie now yeah, this is the we'll just take it around with us this is where we always get them from we have to eat originally. we have to eat the whole thing though i don't see the problem with that okay really just us two we're gonna eat the whole thing <laughs> okay, I've got my Buco Pie coupon. I actually can't remember how much they are, so I'm going to take 500 pesos with me. I think it's enough. I don't remember them being that expensive. But we will find out. Oh, what a beautiful day here today. Uh, here we go, the original Buco Pie bake shop. Comment below if you saw us come here. One time we drove from BGC to this exact bake shop just to buy one pie and then we drove all the way home. If you have seen that specific vlog and you remember it, do comment below, let me know. Hello, uh, can I have one buco pie please? Thank you. Good news. Thank you very much. Oh yes please, yeah, thank you. Can you do like quite small slices? Thank you. They're gonna slice it for me as well. Lovely. Thank you. You take take three hundred. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Really not that much. Oh, you're not know, really. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. No problem. Thank you so much. No tips. Really? Okay. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> no problem. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. We got the goods. It was 275 pesos. I tried. Oh, see if I can get in the car and hold this pie at the same time. I do not want to drop this pie. The hand comes out. There you go. So it was, I don't know if you heard that in there. It was 275 pesos. And I just said, oh, I'll just take, take 300. So I wanted to leave a little bit extra. Like support the book of pie industry because it's one of my favorite things in the Philippines. Just like a nice little gesture. And they said, no, we can't, we're not allowed. And then even when she gave me, um, my change I said oh you can't take a tip so no no we're really really not allowed to take tips so I'm not sure why but I really couldn't leave a tip anyway we have the book of pie gonna head back in the car drive a little bit further down hopefully it's getting a bit cooler the idea was to escape the manila heat slightly um, as you can see quick weather check today beautiful 
sunny day down here in Cavite now. So yeah, back in the car. It's a weekday, it's not much traffic. Coda's having a nap. We've got our coffee from Ancan we picked up on the way. We now have Buco Pie. Let's go. A big reveal. Ah, let's not drop it. Do you want some Buco Pie, mister? You should try it. Buco baby. Coda's now awake. Yeah, George, wake him up. <laughs> oh, it's pie. warm. Oh, beautiful. So good. so good. I love how it's not sweet. Why do we not have this in the UK? I don't know, but we've never had it this fresh. Oh, really? We normally wait till back in Manila, don't we? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this was purchased like two minutes ago. You want some? You can try. Want me to do it? Mm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he loves it. Mm. <laughs> wow. Was that nice? Yeah? Yeah? No? No. That's enough. Oh, I can hardly see anything, super sunny. It has indeed gone down to 29 degrees. <laughs> Let's walk and it's talk. It's so cold. <laughs> it's freezing, need to get my hoodies on. All of them. Your hoodies. <laughs> we just arrived at Farmer's Table, which is a restaurant we've never ever been to. Koda's got his cap on. Oh, that dude. Have you locked the car? Nice, no I have not. Oh. Let me do that. Yeah, Farmer's Table, haven't been here. We've got friends who have actually eaten here before and they said it's good, so we're excited. I'm actually, I think we're meeting the owners of the accommodation that we're staying at as well. So um, yeah, a little lunch hangout. We'll show you some of the food. How green this is. It's one of the nicest things about the area. It's like very green, fresh air, a little bit cooler. It's the perfect breakout of Manila. A little bit more comfortable for Coda as yeah. well. We had a few comments in the vlogs recently saying, why are you dressing Coda like he's in England? But he's in cotton clothes, fully covered to keep him cool, as in like his skin won't get sunburnt, he won't get bitten by mosquitoes, um, but it's nice and thin layers. So yeah. he's not got like vests and stuff on and layers, but it's, He's never too hot, Ooh. is he? We always check on him. Oh yeah, so he's don't good. Don't worry about it, guys. We're Even all good. Even if he's like not in t-shirts and shorts, we yeah. just have like one thin layer. Yeah, it's all like 100% cotton. Protected from the sun as well. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, they just bought over these delicious looking croissants. 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 Yeah, with local pineapple and some marine green cheese. Yeah, there. local really pineapple. That, that, that just looks unbelievable. And then we're going to order wow. some food as well. Have a little yes. taste of these as a little starter. Oh, I'm going to try a little bit of this local pineapple spread. Spread jam. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. So good. Okay, we're tucking into our food. It's all amazing. We've got the pad thai. Chaos Caesar salad. It's, like a, it's a farm to table restaurant, so it's all so fresh and you can tell it just tastes amazing. Yeah, Lucy said how good it is to eat some kale. Mm. And guys, look at the size of these ribs. Bring you in close here because these just look unbelievable. guys I have to say I'm slightly blown away by this uh, we're the first ever guests to stay here as in the literal first people to spend the night here which is firstly like a massive honor because that's really cool but we've just had a tour of the place and it's unbelievable so this is a new accommodation which is around the corner from the nurture wellness village which is where farmers table is it's a new place and it's called Tahana Tahana means for example if a baby was crying it'd say shh shh sh like uh, settle down like Tahana is like calm down to rest to to like I, can't, I feel like I'm explaining it really badly she explained it way better than that but you get what I mean 
I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the place now. This is the pool area, so it's amazing. Sunset's over here, so we're very excited for that later. And the pool just looks super inviting. It's a nice big pool, surrounded by palm trees. It's really private. And it's a really nice looking building, actually. It's all local craftsmanship, um, all the woods local, all of the, like the construction and the materials are all local. So it's uh, really, really Filipino style, all the artworks, Filipino. Um, so you can see like the caravel here. Even here, there's like books around sort of the Filipino theme, which is really, really cool to see. Uh, I feel like sometimes resorts try to sort of copy other countries a little bit instead of just sort of embracing what they are, which is what they've really done here. Full functioning kitchen, which is amazing. Really nice island here with some nice wooden chairs. And then we're gonna head upstairs because, I mean, even the doors are amazing. Look at this wood on the door, all these different like panels of wood with different stripes, very cool. And then this huge staircase. George, this feels like one of the homes we used to tour around on the Juicy Homes channel, doesn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. We never stayed somewhere like this. This is like... It's amazing. It reminds me of some of the villas in Bali, but yeah, but better. But I was saying it's like... we've stayed there anyway, personally. Maybe a, a, somewhere in the Philippines might try to be more like Bali, but they're, here they're just oh, embracing is, full Filipino style. 100%. This is all, all this is local yeah. um, carpentry and stuff. Yeah. Look, and then, go in there, look at the tiles. The, the tiles. Mirror. I love these tiles. And this huge mirror. The tiles are beautiful. This like blue with a bl uh, black edging. And then I love this mirror and the sink. The mirror. Really cool sink. Like, this yeah. is very... I'm uh, very aesthetic in this as well. Aesthetic. Outfit. It's very... It's got high quality. It's high yeah. end in here. And huge Look ceilings. The, the wooden panels on the ceiling. Yeah, and like high windows and stuff. Yeah. Hello, mister. Some places you go and it, it looks nice, but, but often with Airbnb people... Yeah, people want to save costs and things, understandably. Yeah. Um, but here, like, solid. Everything. Yeah. Wooden, Furniture, four poster bed, yeah. solid, solid wood, locally made. Yeah, it's really Very nice. Impressive. And then we've got this big glass balcony here, which looks over onto the living area and into the garden and the pool. And these are the biggest curtains I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> but it's so nice. So this actually uh, caters for four people. So there's a double bed here and two singles, but we're gonna probably move one of the singles to put Coda's cot later. And then we've got like a smart TV with Netflix and stuff on and all these lovely products. These are actually imported from France, so excited to try these out later and we're actually going to have some dinner on site later on so we're going to have another look at the menu in a minute and order some food for later on and some wine and some wine apparently wine was mentioned. <laughs> yes and george is wine excited. was definitely mentioned